Hello and welcome to educational um, video for Step in the Box. We're just going to have a quick look at um, using the MakeBlock app on the uh, on the iPad or the Android there to build some remote control um, interfaces and to read the sensors so that we can uh, program them uh, as well using MakeBlock. Okay, so first thing we need to do, you obviously need firmware in your robot. Um, you need Batteries charged, turn it on there. So we're going to jump into MakeBlock app and we're going to start a new project down the bottom. So we're in the design menu. Um, so our goal here is just to uh, test the inputs and outputs. So we're going to start with the um, outputs. So we could we could in the process make a little um, remote control uh, interface. So if we, we have some pre-configured um, ones, so we could just drag the, so you, on the left hand side there you've got move, you've got display, you've got sense and you've got custom. Now we'll be getting into all those later on, but we're just going to start off in move and we're just going to drag a joystick across and then we'll just test that. So to do that, we just need to press the play up in the middle in the top and we're not connected with the Bluetooth, so you'll see in the top right hand corner the Bluetooth icon is flashing. So what we need to do is connect and bring in the iPad closer so now it's connected. So that's great. So now when I... I'll just turn the rubber around so you can see. So now when I move the joystick, the robot moves. I'll take it off the stand so you can see it. All right, backwards and turn around, that's it, great. So, might as well work fine, that's all fine. So, how do we control, next up, how do we control the claws? Well, there's servo, so we're gonna go back to design, and what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to attach the code to, well, I'm going to attach the, the, the icons, sorry, um, to the um, a button, okay? So I'm going to go and get a, um, a button, which will be in um, switch, or let's say a switch, okay? And then I'm going to go into move, and I'm, oh, okay, sorry. So where it is, is I need to go into the code, so what I need to do is, is tap tap the the switch icon and then go into code and then that brings up all of the um, the full sort of options in the design uh, menu there. Then I need to go into move and you will see that I've got controls for my motors and um, servos. Okay, so I'm going to need four servo blocks altogether. So Two of them there. That one there. Now I already know that um, I know the pinout planner obviously for the robot, so the servos claws are attached. Left one is uh, port two slot one, and the right one is port two slot two. And I also know that um, open for the left is angle zero and close is 180, and for the right hand side, angle, it's, it's reversed. Angle 180 is open and zero is closed. So you need to know that and just do that through trial and error. Um, they're all the same. You can just remember what I just told you there. Okay, great. So when I want the switch to be, say, turned on, I want the claws to be closed. So what I want is port two. So my claws, I need to attach the port. There we go, port two, um, slot one. Now, that's my left-hand one, and for it to be open, I want zero, so I'm just gonna put in angle zero, okay? Now, um, and then my right-hand claw is going to be port two, slot two. Okay, and that's going to be 180. It'll be the opposite because they're flipped upside down. They're a mirror image of each other. Okay, so when the switch is off, 
then I'm talking about this, which on the, in the program here, um, I want the reverse. So I want port two, which is my left hand core. Uh, slot one, I want that to be 180. All right, because that's going to be open. And then my right hand core is going to be port two. Yeah, hang on, a bit typical there. Port two, slot two. That's it. And I want that to be zero. Okay, so now how do I test that? Um, there's two ways you can get code to run. You can get it to run um, from here, bottom right hand corner, and that's just testing that little code segment that's attached to that particular icon. So if I the switch is on and the floors are closed, and then I tap the switch goes off and the floors are fully open. Now I can change those angles obviously, that's open too far, I would say, so I can just hop in and change those numbers to let's say 120 and let's say um, in here 40 Now, not working for some reason. Okay. Um, all right, looks like it's dropped out. It says it's connected, um, but it's not. So, what I'll do is turn the robot off. And then I'll turn it back on. And then I'll establish a connection again. It's connected. Now let's go back into play, which we are in. Okay, so it's just a bad dodgy connection. All right, these things happen, you just need to reset it. All right, so those numbers didn't, um, so I see those numbers, are, it's not going as, it's, that's, it's not closing as far. And that may be the sort of close that I want. You just can use trial and error there to figure out what you want. Okay, all right, so the next thing we need to do, let's look at um, turning the LEDs on. All right, so let's go to design and let's go to display. And this is a pre-configured one, so we can have a look at the code for that. And if we tap it, it will give us the, um, the port which we need to change. Now the LEDs are on port four, slot, sorry, port four, slot one. Confirm that. Now I need to, so let's, let's try that. So let's go to play. And if I move the slider around, which I am on the color, you should see the color of the LEDs change, which they do, okay? So the LEDs are working fine. Um, so now I've basically got my remote control, custom remote control panel going. So that was our goal.